Hey, I'm Tesla, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with the new widget interaction component that is new to Unreal Engine 4.13. Okay, so I'm going to start this tutorial by just creating a new widget blueprint in my UI folder that I've created, and I'm just going to call this 3D widget. It's going to be really simple, it's just going to be a button that we can press, but I'm going to just, uh, in this editor here, I'm going to drop down fill screen and set it to custom and set the width and height to 500 by 500. And we can drag this button in just from the top left panel here. I'm just going to scale it up, set the anchor point to the center, and then just throw in some simple text that we can name as something like press me. Okay, uh, we're going to do one thing with this button. We're just going to click it. We're going to scroll down on the right and hit the on clicked event. So when we press this button, we can get something to happen. I'm just going to get a print string to happen saying, yes, this button works. OK, uh, but we want this to be in 3D space in the world. So we're going to just create a new blueprint actor. And we're going to call this 3D widget BP. OK, so inside this blueprint, all we need to do is add in one component which is just going to be a widget component. And we want to change the widget class to our 3D widget. And we don't need to change the draw size because I've already set it in the UI as 500 by 500. OK, and that's all we need to do there. We can actually hit compile, save it, close it down, and then just drag us into the world. Now, it looks like the UI is not there, but it is. We just need to rotate it around, and we can see it there. OK, cool. So. What we want to be able to do is, I'm using the first person uh, blueprint, so I want to be able to run up to this and interact with it without a mouse, just by looking at it and like pressing a key. So we can do that by using the new widget interaction component that comes in 4.13. So I'm just going to open up my first person character blueprint, and you'll see that it is under the components. If we type in widget, we can see it's just there, widget interaction. So we're going to add that in. And the first thing I'm going to do, just so you can see how this works, I'm just going to check the show debug and jump in the game. The first thing you'll notice is this red line coming out from the character, and you'll also notice that it's not actually following the camera. So it doesn't have to follow the camera by default, and this is because we can attach it to different things. This is also used for uh, VR uh, controller devices as well, so you can attach it to them. What we're going to do is just set it up to attach to the camera. We can do this by dragging and dropping it, kind of like a flashlight, and then it will just follow the camera. Or it actually has a built-in function. We can select it and drop down the interaction source in the right panel here and change it to center screen. So it will always trace out from the center of our camera. You can just close this, jump in, and you can see that when we go up to this button now, it's actually picking it up and interacting with this UI which is really good. So what we want to do is now press this button, but we need to actually set up some logic in the character blueprint with this component to make this work. So let's go in the character blueprint. We'll drag out the widget interaction component, and we're just going to press any key. I'm just going to use F for now. Now with this widget interaction component, it can mimic input events such as uh, key inputs or uh, you know pointer mouse inputs. So we can drag out the winter in, uh, widget interaction component and just type in pointer and you'll see that we have a press pointer key or a release pointer key. So we're going to get both of these. I'm going to get press and I'm going to get the release pointer key. And we're going to change the key to left mouse button. Do that again, left mouse button. And when we press F, we're going to press the pointer key. And when we release F, we're going to release the pointer key, which is going to mimic pressing and holding the left mouse button. OK, so I'm looking at the, the button. I can press F. I've pressed it, but then I release it. And we get our print string showing that the UI and the button works. OK, and that's it for this tutorial. This is a really cool little component that will allow you to create many things, like in-game interaction terminals that can control many things without the need of ever bringing up the mouse.